Hi guys, it's Fujo. Um, it's been a month already since the first episode. I'm sorry. I can only record when I'm the only one at home and when I have a few hours of free time. So sorry if uh, I have been too long to record. Uh, I saw the comments. Some of you are pleased I'm playing this game and others wanted to see this game because I saw the anime. Uh, I'm very glad to hear that. I was so afraid you guys wouldn't like it. So yeah, I will keep going. Okay, so last time the episode was very long, about one hour long. This time I will stop it sooner because I don't want the episodes to be very long so you don't get bored halfway and also because I have a class soon an English class tonight and I'm currently recording during my free time today okay so last episode we did the introductions with the other students uh, then a mysterious voice asked us to go at the gymnasium uh, we will go just let me speak with them first what was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Ah, uh, yeah. Shit. Shit. What the hell kind of game are they playing? Ah, uh, <coughs> my voice. Ah, uh, did I mention I'm sick? <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? Uh, probably. Uh, something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. Huh. True, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I'm sorry if I don't have any commentary to say to what they are saying, because... Uh, well, you already know I played the game, so... Meh. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Uh, are you okay? Okay, let's leave it. It's hard to not say anything about the game and the characters because mm, I know them all! Uh, where's the gymnasium? Wait. Okay. I'd better make my way to the gym. I need to find out what's going on. You're not going to say anything to this? Okay then. You guys are fast. Were are you running alongside me? God, I had no idea this Obstrake Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> It really isn't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. I didn't see you either. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Uh. The, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Uh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, he doesn't like I'm scared of nothing or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, hey where's whoever called us here? Mondo, stop! No running! Well, I too shall go. Hey, hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Hey! <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Uh, a display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. <laughs> Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Uh. Um. Where are all the other students? 
Why are we the only ones here? They are probably inside the gym. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Uh, yeah, I feel you. Let's see what's waiting for us. Still filled with unheavy, unheavy, ah, unheavy, unheavy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Kill me. Shoot it! Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! It's nice to see you again, Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Lol. It was the str strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was saying was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? What? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Oh god, what kind of voice I'm going to give you? Uh, a kind of M Mickey Mouse? I, <laughs> I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma and I'm your headmaster! Wah! It's moved! Seriously man, calm down! It's probably... Just a remote control toy or something. How oh, dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. My remote control si system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Bear? I see what you did there. Bear that? Really? You are... unfortunate? Hmm. Now then! Moving on! We really must hurry and get started! Come on. Keeping up already? No other stupid bear puns? Uh, are you asking for more? Please no? Now then. Quite done now? Quite done? Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Stop! Don't encouraging him! Everyone, stand at attention and bow and... Good morning! Good morning! Uh, you don't have to s say it back! Now then, let us commence with the most not worthy and memorable entrance ceremony! First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like! Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of potential, represent the hope of the world! And to protect such a splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the, co the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date of for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you all be... You will... All be here until the day you die. Such is uh, such is the school life you've been assigned. But what did he say? Until the day we d die? Yeah. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't like for all the common conveniences. Hold on a That's the list of our worries right now. Mm. Yeah. What the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? 
You're screwing with us, right? I am not cr <coughs> Oh. <coughs> so, sorry. I'm not, I'm not used to do all kind of voices at the same time. <coughs> sorry. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They are there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they are there for? No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless, reckless abandon. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it at all. <laughs> I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah, me. cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of spectics, all of you. But I guess you can help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to dot, to dot your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided... Uh, <coughs> oh, what's with me today? You decided of your own free will to attend Ospec Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey, um, oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? Actually, As headmaster, I've, cra I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause! What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... M murder Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to live. It's as simple as that. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A shield shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to live. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Bit the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme. And I should find that so damn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is. It's. To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure je, I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. That's not the problem. What do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering out with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. <laughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment one, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah! And you can kill as much as you wanna kill. So go ahead, go on and go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Yeah. All right, come on. How long you gonna keep this up? Eh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? 
Yeah, cause, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? You <laughs> Mondo rot, rot out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast, fast and straight as a bullet. Jeez. He had locked on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Uh. Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass come back this time? Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Dude! It's going to explode! Back away, damn it! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity is turning him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... Oh, thank you, finally! Oh. The hell! The, that sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in when it's in real life, I never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. The nightmare, <laughs> the nightmare is never going to end. Whoa, there's another one. You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course. Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school regulations, after all! I let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates... Violates... Uh, violates... <laughs> violates... <laughs> violates... My rules won't get up with just a little straight on the butt! Yeah, uh, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yeah. Monokumas have been placed, placed all short, all short, short. I can't say this word. All throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Th that's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook, pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the N e handbook. Ahem, well, yeah, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vi vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. No, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, draw on it. It, keep, it will keep on ticking, ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Wow, very resistant! It contains all of your score regulations, so make sure you, re you review them thoroughly. You will hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. 
Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't, even, I don't understand any of this. We have to leave it forever? Oh, kill? What? What just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. Calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... If you want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is... This is just... What is this? A lie is what it is. All these rig ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping cry quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. <gasps> this music! It's been so long! And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to live. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope, it's a school of despair. Plot twist! Fifteen survivors. Cool. To be continued. <laughs> uh, do I continue? Uh, I still have time, so I will continue a few minutes again. Uh, yeah, I will keep going. Twenty. It's been twenty. Okay. 20 minutes, I can sip away. You must kill someone if you want to live. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The, the air hung every on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to under was that weight. Chapter 1 To Survive Daily Life Ah, oh, let's go! But for as heavy as, uh, as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just turn around, glaring, glaring, glaring. Ah, I can't do English. Glaring, glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull, pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right! She's right! To me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you should have to step forward! <laughs> to forget such a simple fact! I can't forgive myself! I'm so ashamed! Please! Someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! Oula! <laughs> Jesus, if you have time... To yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However, Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot to look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But, but 
but before we do all that, maybe maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out these cool regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Uh, Makoto Nagi, nice. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing that happened was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. And itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the, the rules being imposed in post on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus, campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormi dormi dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Upspeak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Inmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and, become black and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Okay. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's, in, on everyone's faces. This is bullshit! What the hell can I rule are this? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, but if we got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with, a, with my older brother pointing this into my head. When a man makes a promise, promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And so what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're kinda out of subject here, Mondo. What? I've made a ton of promises. A promise that I still have to keep. That's a what? So I can't afford to die in here! None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, I have a question. For regulation number 6, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Uh, you're talking about the, the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> it's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't jab at me! me More like a full-on stab! <laughs> mm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school! True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Damn straight! Okay then, let's all start looking around! Around? I be going alone. What? what? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our mates and make it that much easier for them? Uh, wait, hold on a second! That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can deny the possibility. That's why you all set it up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? But... but. <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance 
accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> I mean you didn't. What? Uh, the fuck that's supposed to mean? Such One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your ass! S stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of you some kinda goody goody little bitch? Oh my god, it's the first time I curse so much. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You Fuck bitch. you! Oh, uh, man, you have anger issues. He punched me, and I flew back in a ape. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming, it was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kinda forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense I just had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. Uh, but I had just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... A room. Mm, uh, huh? Wh where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You know, okay... I know all this! So, uh, uh, I have the map, the truth bullet, you'll see what uh, this is after some time. Uh, presents. I think we will have to, we will have to collect gifts to give to someone. Report card. Ah, that's all the, the information we need for, we have of the character. Uh, let's see, let's see, Mondo Wada. Name, we have the name, the age, the weight, just, just the chest. <laughs> In their talent. Uh, okay. Only Kyoko uh, doesn't have a talent. At least, if she has one, it doesn't show up. Uh, regulation, so we have the rules we have seen before. The famous killing rule. Okay. And okay. Le so this is my room, I believe. The first day of school is always the toughest. First, you're trapped inside the school, and the only way to get out of here is to kill another student. And then, afterwards, you get punched in the face, and you pass out. Long day, long day. There's a piece of paper hanging out on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. Excuse me? I want a toolkit. I don't know how to sew. The sewing kit includes a map, a map of the body's vit vital organs. One sub will do the job, right? <laughs> One sub will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. 
Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy yourselves. He really j wants wants us to kill each other. Doesn't... <laughs> I crumped up the sheet of paper, <laughs> I threw it in the trash. Thank you. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the kitchen, which means it must be mine, right? Uh, yes, duh. I'd better hang on it. Hang on to it for now. Uh, there's some kind of metal plate mounted here. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Uh, it's weird because, uh, as he mentioned before, only the girls' doors, uh, only the girls have bathroom with locked doors. Nagi, uh, is there something you didn't tell us? <laughs> it's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shri shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I just leave it here. I have difficulty speaking English today. <coughs> I'm sorry. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bell. Okay, so I guess I will just... Um, uh, you know what guys, uh, I think I will uh, just leave it the episode here because it's quite long. It's almost, it has been almost uh, 40 minutes. Um, I have some homeworks I need to do before going to the next class tonight. So, okay guys, I will leave you here. Um, you've seen Monokuma and how evil it is. What are we going to do in this ominous situation? Uh, maybe we will find out in the next in the next episode. Uh, I see you guys later. Have a nice day. I have a monokuma. I have a monokuma plush in my room. I'm going to set it on fire. Have a nice day.